All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So a lot of times I do these videos when I'm going in the gym, out of the gym, or sometimes even in between workouts. So what I want to call this video is learn to train like an animal in the gym. And I think a lot of people uh, misinterpret that sometimes when you hear it. You think of some asshole or some tool walking around banging weights screaming, all that type of shit, or a group of guys getting nuts, which nothing against them. I love those guys, actually. I, that's, I used to be one of those assholes, actually, now that I think about it. Holy shit. All right, I had to put those on for a minute. But uh, what I'm really talking about here is learning to attack the weight or the weights, learning to attack whatever workout you're going in there to do. Now, I get a lot of times you may not feel like always attacking. You may be exhausted from work, your kids, whatever the case may be. I get it. But I'm here to tell you, if you want exceptional results, you're going to have to learn to get a little nuts. And one, not be intimidated by weight. Uh, if you're gonna be lifting weights or be intimidated by anyone working out in your environment, you're also just in general gonna have to learn how to kick it in the ass and learn you're there to get something accomplished, especially if you wanna get certain types of results. Actually, let me put this on my car. Hold on one minute. So yeah, you got to learn to be a goddamn animal in the gym. I'm telling you, to get results, you have to be consistent too with just being aggressive at a gym. That doesn't, again, mean be treating people uh, or doing things that are out of the ordinary. It just means when you're about to do a set, a rep, or say you're, I don't care if you're going to yoga, I don't care if you're doing crew, I don't care if you're about to get on your bicycle and do cycling, um, I don't care if you're going to play a sport, you have to understand to get results, you have to be in attack mode. You can, it's really an offensive type thing. You have to be in attack mode to get really good results and you're gonna to have to learn to do that consistently. The one thing I get asked a lot, probably because of my age, because I'm 50, is um, Rich, uh, you know, how did you get in shape? How did you stay in shape? All those type of things. And the truth is, I, the more I think about it, every time I usually go to a gym, I'm not there to F around. I'm there to kick it in the ass. I expect to get things done when I go to a gym. I expect to do a certain amount of sets a certain amount of reps to a certain degree, and I expect my body to react to that. It's a mental thing too. Even when I'm resting, I'm resting to make sure I get results, to, you know, basically to create the body that I wanna create or get into the type of shape I wanna get into. Even if I jump into a pool to swim, I don't necessarily time myself, but I will do say 40 laps. But while doing those laps, whatever it may be, not just swimming, I may run, I may do lunges in there, I'm in attack mode. I want my body to understand we are there to get results. And I think a lot of people go into a gym at the beginning and they're kind of either they got a trainer or they're just learning and uh, they may be excited or they may be intimidated. But as time goes on, they just become, it just becomes like the norm. And I don't think uh, a lot of people realize that just like in anything else, if you want certain results, you just have to put that effort in consistently. And I'm not even talking days, weeks, I'm talking years to keep up with it really push yourself and again that doesn't mean kill yourself to the point where you injure yourself or you burn yourself out there's a balance there but i'm telling you attack attack the gym walk in there i'm almost like a lunatic still i'm almost walking around looking at the weights i stalk it a little bit and trying to i'm always changing up my workouts so i never do the same workout or try not to so i'm almost like a caged animal in the gym but when i do get an opening or i see what i want to do i attack it man not only do I mentally attack it, I physically attack it. And hopefully when I leave there, I know I did the best job I could do. And I don't think a lot of people could say the same. And that's not to rip on a lot of people. I get a lot of people just, it, it may not be your thing because of genetics or you just may not have that temperament to attack. But the more you learn that whatever you're trying to do, at least physically, the more you really get in there and get nuts. I don't care if you got to use music to get you nuts. I don't care if you got to have a workout partner to get you know get you energized. Maybe it's a trainer. Maybe uh, even if you're playing different sports, um, you know you got your coach involved. There could be a manager involved. There could be all these different types of things. Learn from them and realize to really take things to the next level. You've got to be aggressive. You've got to be in attack mode. All right. Hopefully that helped a little bit. Not sure if it was a little too off the wall, but. Yeah, it's you versus them. I'm telling you, it's you versus whatever the hell you're doing physically. So, all right, if you get a chance, you might want to check out my podcast, The Rich Chalenza Show, WTF are you talking about? I'm also on Instagram, Facebook. What else am I on? Twitter. 
LinkedIn, whatever the hell. And if you get a chance, subscribe and be aggressive whatever you're doing with anything related to fitness. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed to push yourself. I don't care if you scream a little bit, you get loud, bang some weights around. I know like now in the environments, a lot of these gyms, you can't do certain things. Don't worry about it. Kick it in the ass. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about what everybody else says or is doing. You just make sure you work out the hardest you can work out and you're going to get the best results possible. I promise you, if you don't cheat yourself, um, it's going to really work out for you. All right. Take care. Thank you.